So let us first discuss about the pattern of the question paper. So <clears throat> there would be two pages, front page and back page uh, in the question paper, and it would be of two hours. Full marks is thirty marks. There are four questions. Out of the, the four questions, we have to attempt any three. Okay. In each questions, there are three parts: A, B, and C. A is of two marks, B is of three marks, and C is of five marks. Okay. So question number one is from the first introduction chapter. Okay. So all are descriptive type questions. Then the second point is <coughs> then uh, uh, what you have in, uh, uh, in the first question as i told you all are the subjective type questions okay in the second no uh, one it's about uh, convolution from the convolution topic the first one is a mathematical this one mathematical operation second is uh, your again uh, mathematical uh, uh, mathematics is there mathematical question and third one it is a subjective one but you have to discuss about the lti system okay and how they are related with the convolution and all these things that you have to discuss okay in the subjective questions please make sure uh, the uh, i usually prefer that uh, if you make uh, more number of figures it is better for the marks that i believe okay so wherever possible figures figures draw figures as much as possible third question it is on dft including uh, fft first question is conceptual question no it is also a calculation here yeah, sorry it is also a calculation one you have to draw one uh, draw means uh, you have to compute one total factor matrix okay B and C, uh, you have to do the numerical. One is DFT, one is IDFT. Fourth is from the introduction to digital uh, filters, whatever we have discussed. all the filters we have not yet started with any numericals so all the three are from whatever i have thought uh, you can go through the slides up top okay so these are the four topics would be there out of this four you have to attempt any three aha uh -huh. out of this four we have to attempt yeah out of this four you have to attempt
the last column in the question mark is CO. CO stands for course outcome. So course, what are course outcomes? Course outcomes are basically at the end of the course what you will be able to do. So for this biomedical signal processing course, so it is expected that the, after the completion of the course, the students will be able to grasp the fundamental principles of biomedical signal processing, understand the role of transforms in signal processing and filter design, perform complex numerical for the analysis of the biomedical signals, understand the challenges and limitations of various signal analysis techniques, and lastly, get acquainted with some of the state of the art uh, modern signal processing techniques. Okay. So these are the course outcomes. So uh, as a matter of uh, what you call it, compliance by the National Board of Accreditation, so um, uh, those course outcomes are already given. Uh, uh, this should have been put very in each of the classes, but somehow I missed. It skipped from my mind. ये जितने भी लेक्चर्स हैं उसके ये कोर्स आउटकम्स डालते हैं कोर्स आउटकम डालते हैं उनको फ्रेश वो पीटी दे रहे हैं या नाउ कमिंग ओवर हियर व्हाट यू वांट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस वी कैन डिस्कस एट पॉइंट डीएफटी Normal DFT or FFT? Uh, Only FFT? DIT? Sir, DIT. DFT. Both? Uh, sir. Where is the problem? There should not be any problem over this. When you are trying to find out the frequency response, which is basically x of k, okay. So what you have to do, you are getting, say, total factor. Here it is a four point total factor, right? Now your signal, it is given as x n equals to two, okay. Now when I tell that you perform 4.0 DFT, it is a only a one-point signal. Okay, so we have to convert this into a four-point signal to one, two, three. So this is called zero padding. Okay, once you are done with this, <coughs> it goes in the horizontal way, but while doing the operation, we have to put this in the vertical way. Total factor as it is, and then two zero zero zero. Suppose suppose you are having x n equals to one two three four. Then this would have been one two three four. Okay. Now what? Now next matrix multiplication one multiplied by two plus of one multiplied by zero plus. One multiplied by zero plus one multiplied by two. So this would come in the first row. Okay. In the second, what you will have? Second at this row. One multiplied by two plus minus j multiplied by zero plus minus one multiplied by zero j multiplied by zero. It comes in the second part. Second row. Okay. Then what? Similarly, in the third row, it will become one multiplied by two minus one multiplied by 
zero, one multiplied by zero, minus one multiplied by zero. This would be this value would come in the second. And likewise, so if it is a no, it is an uh, eight point uh, DFT. So you will be having instead of four, four by four matrix, you will be having eight by eight matrix. And then you just have to put the signal in this way, and just calculate it. The more you practice, easier it will be. So this is the forward transform. Okay. That means we are going from x n to x of k. So this is what we have given. This is calculated in the forward transform. In the backward transform, if you go back, this is the equation for the idea of it. x of n multiplied by one by capital n. Capital n is If I tell you it uh, perform 8 point DFT, then it will be 8. If I say you perform 4 point DFT, it will be 4. Okay. Then total factor matrix are conjugate. So what is conjugate? Whatever will be the complex values, uska sign change kar dena hai apko. Negative one will be converted to positive and vice versa. Okay. And then lastly, we have capital X of n, which is basically The x k what we have calculated. Okay, so the main thing is total factor matrix multiplied by x of k multiplied by one by n. Okay, so if you see over here, one by n total factor matrix are conjugate. See, if this is minus j, it has become j over here. Okay, so this is j, it has become minus j over here. And then from here we computed the xk. In your exam, I can directly give you xk. Okay. So once you get the xk, you will put it over here, and then just the matrix multiplication. Okay. And again, if you see r by c, r by c. If you see r by c. What would be the size of the resultant matrix? Pala matrix ka R and second matrix ka column. So here rows kitna hai? Four. Yaha pe columns kitna hai? One. So yaha pe dikhi four rows and one column. So once you get this, so yaha pe dikhi aap you have got in the vertical form. Just convert it into the horizontal form by writing x n equal to it now. Similarly, over here, if you are given x k, so x k would be given by like two comma two comma two comma two. This is the thing. This is the only thing. Ah, uh, here clear. You understood the process. Now next. For an eight-point system, see, this is the normal order. Okay, reverse order may be reverse order if you see x zero, x four, x two, x six, x one, x five, x three, x seven. Okay, so this is the order which will follow in the input. DIT means input. Input order is bit reversed order. Okay, because initially the butterfly architecture was made for implementing FFT fast forward transform, but later on the same matrix has been used for the inverse transform also. So inverse transform means we are using frequency as the input. Right. So, since it was initially used 
for the forward transform forward transform mein you are having time as the input hence the name dit effect is otherwise there is nothing to worry about wahan uh, pe time hai to sirf time ko hi we have to put it in the bit triple sorters so nothing like that you have to remember dit effect means input has to be in the reverse order and output is in the normal order okay so if you see here our input this is a four uh, four point here in the effect input is in the reverse order and we will get output as the uh, natural order thing let's look into this equation so see 0 1 2 3 so 0 1 1 3 0 0 2 1 3 0 2 1 3 0 2 1 3 so this is the input so this is in the bit reverse order okay and our input uh, yeah, yeah sorry output it is in the normal order see 6 minus 2 plus 2j minus 2 minus 2 minus 2j okay now here we have taken this as the input now for performing the idft so yahan pe ye dekho 2 minus 2 plug kiya gaya bit reverse order then minus 2 plus 2j minus 2 minus 2j so again input is in the bit reverse order the input will be in the reversal order for both the forward transform in inverse uh, ye yeah, transform will in both the cases input will be in the bit reverse order you have to keep in mind though we are saying dit fft you have to remember dit fft was developed to perform the forward transform uh, initially hence the name has uh, been given as the dit fft but the same architecture can be used for the inverse transform also method is same so you have to remember in dit fft input is the uh, bit reverse order okay and second thing what was there whatever the uh, this uh, what you call twiddle factors you will be using they will be conjugate well okay aapka isme dekhiye normal twiddle factor values whereas in the idft you see the twiddle factor values that are used they are the conjugate of the twiddle factor they are not the actual twiddle factor value okay <clears throat> now here if you see again output is given as the x dash n and it is in the normal order x n kahan se aayega 1 by capital n you have to multiply with the signal right the same analogy goes for 8 point uh, dft so the 8 point mein first you will be doing 2 point dft then 4 point dft then 8 point dft and what i said initially when you do the 2 point dft you draw an imaginary point From the middle, in दोनों का middle क्या है This one, this is the imaginary point, imaginary line, central line. So from the top of the line to the top of the line it will come, and again from the top uh, bottom of the line it will go to the top of the line. This crisscross of bit there, and at the input we are having W zero eight or W zero two whatever. The value would be one. Similarly, next pair, this is the central line, upper से नीचे नीचे से ऊपर. then similarly this is the pair niche up to this cross again over here there is this this cross you getting my point now in the next stage what we have four point agar hum four point ye kar denge isko ek solid line ye dal dete we are taking four point where is the imaginary line 
the imaginary line is like this. So, this top point is this top point makes ye aega and correspondingly this top line is this top line will be Okay. If we say the first line is one, one to one dash we will be having, and then again one dash to one we will be having the signal here. Okay. Then again similarly two to two dash, then again two dash to two. There will be signal flow. Okay. If you look over here. ये क्रिस क्रॉस है इन द बॉटम जो सेंटर लाइन का जो नीचे वाला पार्ट है वहां पे आपका टू डी फैक्टर रहेगा एंड देन अगेन देयर विल बी ए मल्टीप्लायर ऑफ -1 एंड देन एट द एंड देयर इज एन एडिशन एट दिस एट द टॉप इट इज जस्ट द ए प्लस ऑफ बी टू डी फैक्टर मैट्रिक्स का मल्टीप्लायर दैट्स इट ठीक है एंड और इसका a माइनस ऑफ b w n व्हाट एवर यू आर हैविंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस माइनस वन मल्टीप्लायर आर यू गेटिंग अ पॉइंट ये हो गया टोटल फैक्टर क्या होगा w zero four w one four बिकॉज़ इफ यू सी w two eight जो है w two eight इट इज इक्वल टू w one four वाइ पढ़ाई नहीं किए इट दुपा माइनस जे टू पाई जे बाई एन ठीक है तो इसको अगर हम मान लो टू बाई एट करते हैं इट इज वन बाई फोर ओके एंड इफ यू डायरेक्टली पुट वन बाई फोर इट इज ऑल्सो वन बाई फोर राइट तो सिंस देर इज ए डिविजन ओवर देर तो डब्ल्यू टू एट टू बाई एट एंड डब्ल्यू वन बाई फोर आर सेम सिमिलरली ओवर इन डब्ल्यू जीरो एट डब्ल्यू वन एट डब्ल्यू टू एट because we are performing <coughs> eight point matrix so i prefer to go for yahan pe dekho total matrix all are being given with uh, eight point uh, total factor but for me it easier to remember in this way initially two point ko main kar raha tha zero by two total factor use karna kyunki ek hi line hai that, that would be one here what will be having zero by four that would be one वन बाई फोर क्या होगा माइनस जे चार ही पॉइंट है दिस इज यूनिट सर्कल जे सॉरी हाँ जे होगा माइनस जे उल्टा घूम रहे हैं माइनस है तो Only we have to remember one, two, three, four. It is easier to remember. Okay, so this would be minus j, right? Just one by eight ka. If you just remember the coordinates, coordinates. Uh, मतलब you just remember this zero point seven zero seven, zero point seven zero seven. Okay. So आपने यहाँ पे क्या? One यहाँ पे एक आएगा two three. फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट तो यहाँ पे क्या है रियल पार्ट इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सेवन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सेवन जे तो ऐसे करके यू कैन जस्ट कैलकुलेट विच वन डब्ल्यू जीरो जीरो एट वन एट टू एट थ्री एट डेट सेट यू जस्ट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर थ्री टोटल फैक्टर वैल्यूज बाकी ये तो ईजी है अदरवाइज जीरो जीरो एट आपको कैलकुलेट करना पड़ेगा देखना पड़ेगा दिस इज जस्ट वन बाई फोर इज जस्ट यू कैन इमेजिन एंड यू कैन जस्ट राइट इट डाउन ओके सो दैट्स वाई आई प्रेफर 
in uh, to represent the total factors in this form 0 8 1 by 4 uh, 0 by 4 1 uh, 1 4 in that time. okay so here they come like this cross and each of the minus which other line may minus here right similarly you have to do the fourth point dft over here okay so this is the central line from 1 to 1 dash you are getting then 1 dash to 1 dash. okay right in this way you get and lastly you have this 8 point dft this is the central line to see if you consider 1 to 1 dash then 1 dash to 1 and in front you are having this total factor value and minus 1 multiply you just see where they are going and you just have to add up the value multiply and add multiply and add that's it and yeah when you are going for the, uh, this thing your idft same method but we use conjugate see here it was minus j here we have converted it to j sign and change the complex sum just sign and change for the complex sum and all the things they will be same and हमने last stage में किया था if it is a 1 by 8 ये we went for 1 by 8 multiply that's it it's done mm -hmm. IDFT huh. that's what I told you uh, if you are talking about DITFFT, uh, if you are talking about DITFFT, then input is always in the decimated order, output is on the normal order. Whether you are doing DFT, whether you are doing IDFT. Okay. If you see, I have done this. Input over here, small x zero, small x four, and in the next case, I have given capital X zero. So see this is in the decimated order, this is not in the normal order and output see it is in the normal order like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, here capital X 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is the normal order 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 but our input was in decimated order 0, 4 like that. Hmm. Third and fourth. Huh. So you over here you are having two poles. You have placed zero and zero over here. Okay. If so if you look from the top. See here the pole is very high. I just do it like this. Here the pole is very high. It will come like this. Okay, its response would be here. We have normalized the game, right? I told you. So, so this was zero. This was pi. Now you just reverse it, so you get this black line. In this case, just draw the line. Here also you will be having one A, but here what is happening, you are getting like this and there is another A, so maybe after slight dip or maybe this would be the same, something like that. So this is a double membrane, right? 
So when you put the double name there, so what is happening? It will uh, try to form a cone. So even if you don't A, there will be slight A, see? Like this. So here if you see, like this it is good. So if you look over here in this region, the roll off is very high. The roll off is very high. Whereas when the pole was far away from the zero, the roll off is very slow. A roll off is nothing but how the gain is decreasing as you are uh, you know, going towards the higher frequency level. In any filter. So from pass band to stop band, how the gain is decreasing, that is called roll off. So when you place a zero and a pole nearby, the roll off becomes very high. Yes, Daisy. Understanding everything. Another important thing, uh, I forgot to tell you. When you are uh, finding out this filter response, I told you, na? Pi by two, three pi by two. So at this frequency, if you look into this value, one by two is zero point seven zero seven. It will come over here somewhere here. Here also, it is zero point seven zero seven. So this will be very helpful while you are trying to solve the thing. You don't have to calculate every day. It will be fed into your mind. And in the 8 point DFT also, this 0.707 it would be there. So it's a magic number. Just remember this. It will make your life easy. IDFT, FFT is an algorithm. That's what I told you in the class. FFT is just an algorithm to implement DFT. So it is basically DFT and IDFT, and FFT is a uh, is a way to solve the DFT in an easier way with lower computational uh, burden. That's it. 